Oh, good evening, everybody out there. This is Chuck Gay of Chuck Gay Photography, a.k.a. Mr. Nito. Uh, welcome you to uh, wonderful Bakersfield, California. It's kind of wet and rainy out here tonight. Um, there's also a bunch of high, wind, high winds out there bowling around. Um, we're going to be uh, broadcasting over the next uh, three hours or so the, um, the, the doubleheader of the uh, Bakersfield Diamond Divas. Uh, the first game will be um, against Sacramento Roller Derby. I do not, unfortunately, I do not know anything about this team because I've never seen them play. And be learning as, as I go along. So um, I'm going to be doing my, like a wing and a prayer here. Um, but um, they're going to be, uh, this game is going to be uh, basically, obviously, for any, if anybody's new for, uh, in Derby, I'm sure there's probably some people out there that are familiar with uh, flat track roller derby. Uh, it's played in halves. Uh, each half is, a, is um, 30 minutes in length. And uh, it's it's a simple basic uh, you know, premise to the whole thing. Uh, the uh, the jammers will have the star on their helmet like that uh, like number one hundred and six does right there. Uh, she'll have a star on her helmet, and uh, she is the scorer. And depending if she gets the lead jammer or not, she would be in control of the um, of the uh, of the uh, the jam. Um, her name is Asylum, um, but uh, yeah, they. Um, yeah, so then there's also a pivot. We'll have a striped helmet, uh, uh, helmet and they are kind of like, like quarterbacking it. So they, they're telling uh, their teammates which way to go um, and uh, you know, tell them which way to go, you know, like to block on the inside or the outside and trying to keep their jammer. And they can also receive the star if um, if so be, if so needed, uh, if, the, if the jammer has, has a difficult time getting through. So, and then uh, each, uh, jam, each jammer out there, they will get uh, points for every person they pass. Um, I believe that's uh, uh, as soon as their hips pass the other person's hips, and then they get a point for each one. And uh, that's pretty much that in a nutshell. Um, the um, yeah, so the game is uh, the first game is uh, going to be against uh, Sacramento. It's going to be the Bakersfield Diamond Divas against the uh, Sacramento Roller Derby. Uh, it's going to be roughly starting at about uh, ten minutes, roughly ten twelve minutes. So I'm, I'm just coming on early so that we can get everything going. That way, we'll keep everybody waiting. Um, Christina, welcome. Brandy, welcome as well. Good to see you both here. Um, welcome to all the other uh, people that are that are uh, watching as well. Uh, hopefully, I do a halfway decent job for you guys. Um, this, this is my second uh, broadcast I've ever I'm doing as far as um, you know live uh, roller derby as far as like this year. Uh, so um, I did this two weeks ago in uh, Coachella. So uh, you know, down in Palm Springs. So this could be uh, I'm kind of transitioning from photographing to um, to um, doing the uh, you know, broadcasting as well. So I'll be out in uh, if if all goes well. If there's no rain, I'll be out in uh, Oceanside uh, next week uh, for uh, the um, for uh, I believe it's uh, oh who is it? It's um, um, Having a brain fart here, um, yeah. So the um, it's gonna be against. Um, uh, oh, like I said, I'm just having a brain fart here. It's, uh, it's not. It's not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be the ocean. It's not gonna be the team in ocean side. It's gonna be. Um, uh, it'll come. To me all of it. But sorry, sorry for uh, even rambling on here. But uh, yeah. So um, yeah. So. Um, we're you know the game's gonna be starting like I said about roughly about ten minutes. Uh, according to the, to the uh, clock on the on the scoreboard over there, it's uh, 21 minutes away from the starting, so they might be starting a little later. It's supposed to be a five, from what I'm saying, it's supposed to be a 5:30 start, so so 20 minutes would be about 5:40. Uh, so um, you know, right now um, Sacramento's on track. They're they're warming up right now and doing their drills. Should be a good game. I have, I, like I said, I, I do not, I am not familiar with Sacramento at all, so. Um, you know, hopefully um, the people out there will know you know, you know more about it than I will. And, uh, Alice, uh, yes, uh, this is good. This is being broadcast live, and it'll be, it'll be saved on this channel of, of my of my uh, my YouTube channel here. Um, you know, so you know, they I guess uh, I guess Sacramento has a few more minutes on track, and then the Divas, you know, the Bakersfield Diamond Divas will. 
take track and they'll do their warm ups as well. <clears throat> so, um, you know, we got the coach right here in front of me, uh, you know, for uh, Bakersfield. Then you have uh, members of Sacramento Derby over here. Zoom in here a little bit. I'm just, I'm just trying to get used to this camera too because it's it's a new one for me. I've never I've have a it's a, got a remote control, so I'm zooming in and zooming out, panning. So it's a new challenge for me. So I hope hope everything looks good on that end for you guys. So I'm going to do my best to try and keep track of everything and uh, you know keep everything up there. Siggy killed us right there. I'm getting ready to do their their warm up as well against Shock. And there goes Big Papa right in front of us. He's a uh, our trackside uh, announcer here with the, the bunny ears on the hat, top hat there. And right over here, the uh, behind me. Um, Bakersfield is doing doing their their warm up or their stretching and stuff like that. So I'm not sure how, how soon they're gonna be coming on the track. They should be coming on within the next few minutes, hopefully. That way they can get their uh, warm ups out of the way. Yeah, so I. I basically hail from uh, the Los Angeles area. I drove all the way up from, uh, from there to, to Bakersfield. And it was a fairly decent drive until I until I hit the uh, grapevine. That's when everything started. Uh, I started going through the clouds and start getting rain. Um, it kind of uh, went off and on when I when I was, as I come in, came into Bakersfield and when I just as I pulled up to the uh, the, the skating rink here, it just started started raining again. So. Uh, it's uh, off and on right now, I believe. I don't know how it is outside right now. Um, I haven't been outside for about the last uh, half hour or so. But, yeah, enjoy. The, uh, hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy the the, uh, the, the webcast tonight. Um, I probably won't be um, – I probably won't be uh, turning the, um, the, um, the stream off because it, I have, I have uh, at least up to, I think, eight or nine hours or something like that on, on this thing so I can – go straight on, on this thing. So um, I'll take a periodic breaks from it and that way you can, um, that we would do everything like that. So, but uh, yeah, it, it's a, uh, I'm, I've been looking forward to this night for the last few, a couple weeks now. So I'm glad that they're, they are having me out here to, to actually uh, broadcast the game. Uh, otherwise I'd be bringing my cameras and everything else like that and all my other equipment. Um, so, but yeah. Okay. Okay, so the Sacramento team is called the Mall Stars. Okay, thank you. All right, all officials. Stage four gone. That's back up at the official. Again, all official. We know we're at the official tent. And also the people in the penalty box eating my freaking pop. Get, get over there too. That was the voice of Big Papa. He, he's your track. He's gonna be your trackside announcer. He's right over here next to me. Uh, so he's just making a brief announcement there for for everybody. Um, I'm borrowing his copy of the um, of the uh, lineup for tonight. Um, for Sacramento, I'm uh, going to be uh, running off uh, running off their um, introductions here. Uh, it's going to be number one, number number 106, Asylum. Number 116, Shira. Number 143, Cinder Blocker. Number 17, Rhodes Warrior. Number 29, Kista. Number 415, Philly Buster. Number 42, Shanita Crutch. Um, number 451, Shock in Auburn. Number 618, Mo Dirt. Number 654, 
Sour Ranger. Number 718, no, yeah, 718, HOS or Haas. Um, 73, Pain Dulce. Number 787, Tricky Bobby. Number 8, Nay Slayer. Number 80, Merle Hazard. Number 815, Ziggy Skilldust, or Skilldust. And 94, Talls. Uh, number 42, uh, Shanita Crutch. And number 143, Cinder Blocker, are listed as alternates. Now for the Divas, for the uh, for the Diamond Divas, um, lineup is number 007, Blonde Assassin. Number 08, RBF. Number 101, Miss Damienher. Number 12, Ash. Number 14, Rainbow Pooh. Number 16, Melly Mayhem. Number 17, Gab Smacked. Number 23, Jordan. Number 40, Baby Kong. Number four and your captain is Maniac. Number 655, Chica Maldia. Number 701, Mushi. Number 75, Regulator. Number 88, Slam and Shea. And number 918, Scarlet Vixen. So those are your um, lineups for tonight. Uh, number 451 for um, Sacramento, uh, Shock and Auburn, is your, also your captain. So that, that is your lineup for tonight. So... Now the Divas are taking the track for their warm-ups. Now you're welcome, Emma. I'm glad I, like, glad I can broadcast it for you guys. And for those who can't make it out here, this is a good thing for them, so that way they can come at least we see something, uh, something like this, uh, you know, uh, over the web, so that way they can not don't feel left out. Welcome to all the who, who else has come in today. Glad to have you. Glad you're enjoying. The, hopefully, hope you enjoy the show, this uh, broadcast. Uh, we're going to be on here for about the next. Uh, let's see. Let's see the, the first bout starts. Uh, hold on a second. All right. Yeah, one of the one of the skaters asked me if who's in charge of the speakers, and it's not me. So, but um, yeah, we're gonna be here uh, see, at least for the next uh, three and a half hours. I would say the first bout is supposed to start in about twelve and a half minutes. Um, but uh, like I said, each uh, each bout's gonna be uh, an hour in length, uh, two thirty minute halves, with probably about a, about a fifteen minute uh, uh, intermission. Um, so um, that's gonna be coming up uh, very shortly. Um, so, um, uh, hopefully, like I said, we're going to be here, for, uh, at least probably through at least nine, I want to say nine thirty maybe. Um, and, and that's, that's just a guesstimate. Uh, it, it, it all depends on, uh, on, how, on whether there's any, uh, lengthy timeouts or if there's going to be any, uh, uh, injury timeouts, uh, official challenges and stuff like that. So, um, that's, uh, one of the things you have to you know, be looking for. Um, so, Hopefully everything goes good for you. Um, and let's see. Let's do a quick commercial uh, for Empire Skate Shop. Stand by. We will now pause for station identification. This is NUTS. For all your skating needs, check out Empire Skate Shop. They are located at 263 North 2nd Avenue in Upland, California, 91786. Phone number is area code 909-294-6396. Store hours are 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. daily. You can also visit them at their website at empireskateshop.com. And their website is open 24-7, uh, but they, um, they are open basically those hours I mentioned every day, uh, except for holidays. That's the only thing that they will be closed for. Um, so, you know, tomorrow uh, from 11 to 6, they should be open. You can get some, get some good merchandise if you like some, if you like Rydell's or Bont's or, or whatever, you know, skates uh, that you prefer, uh, they'll have them for you. And if they, if they don't have it, they can order for you. So, um, check them out. Tom, you know, Tom, uh, you know, Tom and Amy, they run a good shop over there out in the city of Upland. Um, they, uh, in fact, Amy was, um, 
She used to uh, uh, be part of the uh, Prison City Derby team, Derby uh, uh, Roller Derby, I believe it is. Uh, she and uh, great Dean, co um, uh, I guess they co-founded the team out there. And uh, Amy and her husband, Tom, they uh, started this business about, uh, oh, I want to say at least a good seven, eight years ago, maybe. And uh, so they make they make uh, their, they bring their equipment and stuff to the, to you know, some of the bouts every once in a while, uh, but uh, yeah, you can always uh, call them up or you can check out the website, see what see what kind of merchandise they have. Um, if you need equipment or you know like, like pads or, or you know, mouth guards or bearings or whatever, yeah, check it out. You can you can order them online. Um, yeah, there's also um, a new. Um, former roller derby coming out too. Um, it's a it's to be a legitimate league. Um, it's gonna be um, it's called the Extreme Roller Derby. Um, you can really check their their page out at extremerollerderby.com. Um, they're doing uh, tryouts, open tryouts uh, next month on May 17, 18, and 19 at the uh, Costa Mesa uh, 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 fairgrounds out there, the OC count fairgrounds out there in Costa Mesa, and um, so they. Um, you know, you know, they're you can go on online there um, and fill that fill out an application to to uh, to try out. Uh, I think they only charge fit twenty five dollars for it um, you know, to, to try out, and you also get a you get a little bit of uh, you know merchandise as well for uh, for the um, for trying out whether you make it or not. Um, they're looking for at least a hundred. From what I understand, they're looking for at least a hundred skaters. Uh, so um, they, um, you know, but it's gonna be. Uh, Four different teams, or actually four different locations, uh, as far as the where the team teams are supposed to be um, from, um, and there's gonna be a total of eight teams all together. Uh, there's gonna be two teams from Los Angeles, uh, two from Chicago, two from New York, and uh, uh, see, I'm having a brain fart again. It, 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 yeah, so, you know, Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York, I believe it is. And so it's a uh, there's only there's supposed to be one other team on there, but um, now again, seven, two from San Francisco. So those are going to be uh, the teams that you know, that they're going to be having. So that's going to be coming out um, uh, starting next month as far as the tryouts. Um, they're going to be trained professionally uh, by uh, by two skaters who have had you know, over 50 years of experience in, in bank track uh, roller derby, um, you know, Larry Lewis and Ray Robles. Um, so they have uh, a, a wealth of knowledge. They, they'll teach it. They'll train all everybody how to skate there um, what, and what they're planning on doing. So – that's my little pitch on that. So, um, yeah. So, extremerollerderby.com, and you can check check out the page and see all see what it's all about. <clears throat> okay, let's see here. So, we got roughly probably about uh, I want to see looks like less than seven and a half minutes, and uh, we should be getting the the uh, first bout underway between um, Bakersfield and Sacramento. And we welcome Sacramento here. It's, uh, good to have him down here. And as you see, they're still warming up, doing their drills. Yeah, we got people here as well. It's, it's not it's not a huge crowd, but we got people here. We got people off on the sides um, of the uh, sides of the uh, the rink over here, right in that area. Uh, there's people down close down that more down that way. Um, most of the time, it's usually bring your own chair type of situation, where they can just bring your own chairs and they can come in and do what you got to do, so, so they can be comfortable watching the games. Um, of course, you got you know, we have our skaters benches over here. And so this is a skate land uh, roller uh, uh, skating rink out here in uh, Bakerfield, California. We're on Ning Avenue. Uh, it's a nice thing. for me. It's a, it was about a, about a 130 mile drive uh, from where I from where I live. So, but you know, I, I love coming up here every so often to, to you know, either either the photograph or. In this case, tonight, uh, do the um, uh, live stream. Um, I was out here in December. Um, and I did a um, uh, photo shoot with the, with the Divas. So it was a lot of fun doing that. Uh, and, they, and, they, and they loved the pictures as well. And in fact, I think on the uh, on the event information on Facebook, uh, 
Uh, there's like a group shot there and on the page, and that's one that's one of the pictures I shot of them. Okay, so yeah, so we got uh, probably around about five five and a half minutes probably to go now you know, before the uh, before we get ready to do the national anthem and everything else. So. Welcome to everybody who's joined in. Hope you, hopefully you, uh, you enjoy the broadcast. I'm going to do my best to try and uh, call the action as best I can and follow the action as well. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to put, put my mic down for just a sec, so I'll come back in just a couple minutes. Okay, it looks like the uh, Divas are finished warming up. So let me turn my camera to the other way here. Go for it. <laughs> He's got, got a young fan here. He's a uh, he didn't know you know he didn't uh, know what I was doing here. He, he's like uh, uh, he goes, "What are you doing here?" He goes, "Oh, I'm just broadcasting here. That's the camera right here." And then like that, he goes, "Oh, can I put my hand there? Sure, go ahead." And then you saw that's where you saw his hand right there. <laughs> and then the divas are doing their pre huddle here you know, pre pre game huddle and if you're enjoying this thing if you want to you, you feel free to share the um, you know the stream if you like and uh, and you know, and so we can put it out there as well So it looks like, you know, just from uh, from the comments here, it looks like we got a mixture of both, uh, you know, uh, people who are uh, cheering for both teams. So that's good. Cheer for your favorite team.
Okay. Do a quick here and huddle and cheer, possibly. First thing I think I've seen that kind of a cheer from him. Okay, so we are just uh, just momentarily away from uh, the national anthem and start of the game. And start of the game. I said we have uh, people all over the place in here. It's uh, it's not always uh, they don't always sit on track, but uh, but then from what I stand there, there's, uh, there's some uh, water leakage around here too, and it looks like they're getting chairs set up in the in the area as well to sit down on. Welcome to everybody who's joined in already. And for the people who have been here and commenting, great great to have you here. Don't know where it is where you're at, but um, over here in Bakersfield, it's kind of uh, cold and you know, it was windy as well as uh, some rain out here. So it should be a good night of uh, derby here for us. Um, so, like I said, the uh, first bout here is going to be uh, the you know, Bakersfield Divas against the uh, Sacramento Roller Derby. And the following game is actually going to be um, you know, the, um, the um, Rough Cuts, Bakersfield, Bakersfield Rough Cuts, and they're going to be taking on South Coast uh, from all the way out in Laguna Hills. So it should be a good game with, a, you, know, you know, South Coast is a real good team as well, so I haven't seen them in quite a while. So it's good to see them coming out. And we welcome the Sacramento team here as well. Great to see them out here. It's like they're bringing in more chairs in this place here, so. <laughs> and I hope we can get some people here who want to sit down. I should probably snag a chair myself. <laughs> Uh, I feel for you, huh? <laughs> yeah, so Sacramento, it's, it's cold and rainy up there, too. Okay, I, I feel you there. <laughs> and yes, uh, yes, Christina, yes, thank the officials, too. Yeah, without them, we can't have a game. We have to thank the officials, the referees, the NSOs, everybody involved with putting this game on. This is all volunteer stuff, so it's... Uh, and so it's taking you know, you know we're, some people are coming you know, donating their time you know, to come out here and do this. So it's great.
No, thank you, Christina. Sharing it good. Thank you. Anyway, there's three of our officials for tonight, for our, three of our referees right there. And I believe the referee with the blonde hair there, I believe he, um, I guess he, he used to be a member of the Diamond City, uh, Diamond City Miners at one point, so that's why he has the DCM on his uh, helmet. I'm trying to look at all the names that are in. My eyeballs are getting older and older, even with glasses on. But yeah, so it's uh, those are look of our at least three of our um, referees for tonight. And I'm going to apologize in advance if uh, if my camera movements are a little jerky or you know whatever you know because I'm using a remote control to control this thing, so it's not like I I'm going to be you know, turning it back and forth, back and forth with my hands. <laughs> So that's uh, basically what, you know, what I'm doing right there. A nice clear picture and everything. It's got a nice clear picture and everything. Very nice. Yeah, I like that. I did, I did a chuck stick on this thing uh, shortly after I got it. And it yeah, I saw that. The other really day. clear. Really yeah. clear. I loved it. I was just talking to Big Papa there for a second. <laughs> he, was, he was just looking at the picture on, on, on my screen here. Again, welcome to everybody that's joining in. I'm not the best announcer, but I'm going to do whatever I can. <laughs> Yeah, my last uh, live broadcast uh, on this channel was uh, two weeks ago when I was out at Coachella uh, in Palm, Palm Springs. Uh, Coachella Valley Derby, uh, Derby uh, Roller Derby, they came out, uh, or they actually hosted um, um, Prison City Roller Derby out there at the uh, Air Museum out there in, uh, in Palm Springs. And uh, they, the, and they, um, <clears throat> the, uh, um, Coachella, you know, Coachella, you know, Derby girls, they, they came away with a win on that. I believe the score was like 180 to 80, 180 to 80. And so, um, so that was my, my, like, that was my first time using this camera down there. So, so at any bell, so this is a, so this is like a new camera for me. So I'm just getting used to it, trying to just remember where all the buttons are to, to not uh, screw everything up. Um, so, um, so like, I said, like I said, I apologize in advance if, if any of the motions come out jerky or, or uh, it's all it came come out of all of a sudden here. Thank you. <laughs> I do I do my best. Okay, Christine. I'll try to do what I can on that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my keep my eyes on them when I you know when I see that. So, okay, looks like they're lining up for uh, for uh, looks like gear check or or else it's uh, I'm getting ready for the national. And even though I gave the introductions on uh, off the paper already, um, when Big Papa starts to give the announcements, I'll keep my mouth shut and let him uh, introduce teams and 
you know, so that we'll see all the skaters as they come out. Okay, it looks like the uh, <clears throat> it's like one of the NSOs is right, just writing down their uh, their jersey numbers and the names, or at least most of the jersey numbers. So that way they can keep track of everything. Oh, okay, okay, Christine. Yeah, I'll try and because uh, usually I, I do that anyway. Usually I'll I, I give the times and the and the um, and the scores quite often, like I did in the last broadcast. In fact, my last broadcast is here on on my on this channel and on my YouTube channel. It's on the live stream or it's either on the live page or you can. I think it's probably on my front uh, front uh, main page as well. So, but yeah, so um, I'll, I I always give uh, the. Um, the uh, scores and and the time as, uh, as as often as I can, so that way everybody knows what's going on. See, in, in case anybody misses anything. <clears throat> all right, well, that's all ready to start. We're just checking all the equipment, checking the skating, making sure we got that going on. Okay, so looks like yeah, looks like the gear check is over with, and uh, making sure who's who. My name is Big Papa, I'll be your announcer. We do have Chuck Gay over here doing live streaming. We'll check him out on his YouTube channel. That's regulator, you know, giving the peace sign to everybody. <laughs> uh, and he's letting everybody know that this is being live streamed as well, so. Okay, we got a soloist over here. Okay, so I guess we're going to go straight into the game. We're not going to be uh, doing uh, anything else. No intros. Those who are here up on the line, Sacramento, are going to be taking on their um, number four, the Maniac, the captain of the Bakersfield Diamond Divas. Give me a rundown for Sacramento Road real quick. Number 106, Asylum. 117, she Number 17, Rose Warrior. Number 29, Geek Stuff. 
Number 514, Billy Buster. Number 451, Shot and Auburn, which is your captain. Moker, number 618, 654, Sour Ranger. Number 718, Haas. 73, Payne Dolce. 77, Trippy Bobby. Number 8, Day Slayer. Number 80, Merle Hazard. Number 815, City Skull Dust. And number 94, Pauls. That is Sacramento Roller Derby. Quick rundown for the Diamond Beavers. 007 Blonde Assassin, 08 RBF, 101 Mr. Meaner, number 12 Ash, number 14 Rainbow Foo, number 16 Melee Mayhem, number 17 Dabs Back, number 23 Jordan, number 40 Baby Palm, number 655 Chica Malvia, 701 Mushi, 75 Regulator, 88, Slam and Shay, 918, Scarlet Vixen, and your captain, number four, Maniac. Alrighty, there's your introductions. So Maniac is going to be your jammer for uh, for Bakersfield, and uh, number 17. Uh, All right, up again, that we got Maniac up on the line for the team. This is going to be taking on number 17, Rhodes Warrior. For Rhodes Warrior. Okay. Five-second call. 30 minutes upon that board. Here's the signal for the first whistle. First jam on the Before we try to get through. Maniac getting looks like Maniac. I'll take it back. Rhodes Warriors, you're always your lead jammer. And the jams get called off. That was pretty close. You know. RBF and, and Hazard are your jammers. RBF for uh, for for Bakersfield. Hazard for Sacramento. And there's a jam. We're having difficulty having difficulty getting through there. The RBF is still trying to get through. And she gets through and she uh, is your lead jammer. Um, power jam for uh, for um, for Bakersfield does uh, Jammer got, got penalized for cutting track. Shock sent to the penalty box. RPF gets through for point, four more points. And the call the jam off. Two more points for the Eagles. For the Sacramento. Okay, Asylum's in uh, for uh, Sacramento. And 007. Uh, the Blonde Assassin. Timeout. So he's calling timeout. Looks like they're, looks like they're having an uh, official timeout for, uh, for, looks like scoring possibly. No, I come back to the Blonde Assassin up on the line. 
going to be taking on number 106. Okay, we got the five second call. One assassin, a silent, they both uh, take off. Silent has to recycle. One assassin still trying to get through. And the silent gets through. She is your lead gamer. Okay, and here comes Blonde Assassin. And Asylum calls off the jam. See Maniacs back on the floor on the thing as well as uh, Rhodes Warrior. Right now, score is uh, four to six. Um, see, four and uh, six uh, for um, Bakersfield and four for Sacramento. It's a very close game so far. The Forest having difficulty trying to get through here. They have the, the Sacramento has a really good defense here. And looks like Rhodes Warrior Cup. Nope. Rhodes Warriors coming back around to the pack. Maniac, to, Maniac comes through and she calls off the jam. Right now the score is 10 to 4. One assassin looks like for Bakersfield and uh, one assassin is your lead jammer. <clears throat> jammer gets through for, for Sacramento. It's a big wall there. I think Hazard's still, still trying to get through. And she gets called. And then, has a good call for a uh, for cut track. And the jam is called off. Blonde Assassin back up uh, for uh, for Bak Bakersfield. And Hazard is in the pen is in the penalty box, so it's gonna be starting off as a power jam. Power jams the same things, just like in like in hockey. You know, down one person, uh, they get a putt like a power play. So this is same kind of situation. It's a blonde assassin. Heard a false start being called in there. Not sure who they called it on. And she gets through. Ron Assassin is your officially your lead jammer. Comes back to the pack. Hazard comes back in. Gets met up with a big uh, three, three, three person wall here. And she and then and, and, uh, has a good sent back out. Oh, 
And it looks like that's the jam right there. Maniac back up for the uh, Bakersfield Diamond Divas. And Hazard still in the penalty box. Still technically, uh, uh, she has like, uh, I believe there's like about within 10 seconds left for her uh, before she gets released. And she is out of the back. She recycles in. And gets met up with several divas. Now she has to recycle. Oof. And back to the belly box. And Maniac come back and comes back to the back. Sacramento putting up a good defense trying to keep uh, keep uh, Maniac from getting past them. And the jam is called off. Lon Assassin back in for um, for uh, for Bakersfield. Unfortunately, uh, Hazard is back in the penalty box. So Got an official timeout. Might have something, something to do with the time, possibly. And just for a public service announcement, number 701, family in the house. Here we get the five second call. And the official timer on this one is about to next jam. And then RBF. Juan Assassin trying to get past him. Trying to get past Stitch. Stop him and shock him. Get him met, met up with two others. Hazard Bellman back in. And looks like back out again. She gets sent back out again for an illegal entry, basically. Jordan trying to clear the path, and then Jam gets called off. Okay, so we got Blonde Assassin back up uh, to the line. Looks like it's about a little, bit, a, little over, a little over 15 minutes to go, I believe, in this half. Score is 24 to 7 in favor of Bakersfield. I believe it's like uh, just a little bit over 15, 15 minutes to go in, the, in this half. Be sure to check that out. You can buy it by the ticket, buy it by the arm, buy it by the legs, or buy it by the body. Outside out the match from Simone. Yeah, score is currently 24 to 7 there, uh, Christina. Okay, so getting back. Can come back in now? Ooh, what a hit! Long well, Sesson still trying to get through, trying to get past the, the defense. Going over to 
And Hazard finally gets through, and she is the lead jammer. And calls off the jam. Maniac is uh, the jammer for Bakersfield, and Siggy Skulldust is your jammer for Sacramento. Oh. Psych. Rose Warrior came in. Maniac trying to get through the through the three, three person defense right there. Rose Warrior, she's uh, just trying to get through as well through the defense of the you know, divas. And Maniac is your lead jammer for for Bakersfield. Just four more points there for for Maniac. Four more points for, for Maniac. Rhodes Warrior hits the deck there. That's a recycle. Score now is 33 to 7. Just trying to see what, how much more time there is in this half. Juan Assassin is your jammer for Bakersfield. Silent for uh, Sacramento. It's like a silent is your, your jammer, lead jammer for Sacramento. Juan Assassin's hot and pale. Come back up to the pack. And bodies at the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. That's the jam, obviously. Looks like a, looks like a timeout. Oh. Apparently, Silent has to get some get looked at. Right now, the score is 36 to 8. We hope she's okay. Injuries during games like this is not fun. I've seen too many people get injured. Trying to see how much time there is on this thing here. Okay, the official timeout's over with. Mm -hmm. Seeking Stardust is up, uh, is up for Sacramento. Ooh. Happy to had to recycle there, and she's met up with a big wall of um, tape. Mm. Assassin is a lead jammer. Mm. 
Got an offer with the new camera. Rhodes Warrior for your for Sacramento jamming. And looks like Blonde Assassin's back up. Jam on. It's like Rhodes Warriors trying to play a little defense as well as uh, and trying to try and keep uh to keep uh no. Of course, that didn't work. Juan Assassin is your lead jammer. Rhodes Warrior has to recycle. Juan Assassin met up with the, with the wall of defense. Rhodes Warrior is coming back around through the turn. And the jammer gets called off. Score right now is 41 to 8. 41 to 8 in favor of Bakersfield. Maniac is your jammer for Bakersfield. She was designated your lead jammer. Comes to the pack and gets four points. Come back up to the pack. A lot of blocking there. Good defenses by you know, by all. Many guys are recycling. She calls off the jam. Forty-seven to eight is your score right now in favor of Bakersfield. Yeah, RBF is your you know, jammer for Bakersfield. The city uh, Stargate Stargate is a jammer for for uh, Sacramento. Keep on saying her right. Her name is Skull Dust. <laughs> Siggy Skull Dust. My apologies. And there's a big hit down there. She has to recycle. You get, you get knocked out. She is the uh, Siggy is your school is your lead jammer. So she has to go back to the penalty box, possibly for a back block. Big strong defense down there. RBF having difficulty getting through. Like I said, a lot of good, strong defense down here. Both teams are not giving up an inch. Siggy stole this, get through. She's not lead jam, but uh, you know, she gets four points. Oof, what a hit.
That's the jam. Score right now is 50 to 12. 5 0 to 12. A lot of assassin is your jammer for for Bakersfield and Asylum for Sacramento. Asylum gets met up with a big wall of defense, as does uh, Blonde Assassin. And Asylum is your lead jammer. Comes back up to the back. Gets met up with a big defense, but she gets son gets past that person. Comes back up to the back. Tries not to cut. Down, almost, almost fell, fell down, and she, oh, now she hits the deck, <laughs> as does uh, Bond Assassin. Assassin has to recycle. <laughs> there is just no give. But she is giving they're, they're, they're giving it all their all their best and she just calls out the jam. Simon calls out the jam. <laughs> Score now is now fifty to twenty three in favor of Bakersfield. And there's a, there's a timeout by Bakersfield. Bakersfield takes a timeout. Okay, the time they're finished their their timeout. It's like maniacs could be your jammer for Bakersfield. Rhodes Warrior will be coming up for Sacramento. Looks like it's about seven minutes and 11 seconds left in this period. This half. Scores 50 to 23. Welcome to those all who are just joining. If, they're, if, you're, just, if you're just joining in, welcome in. Rhodes Warrior hits the deck. She has to recycle. Maniac is your lead jammer. Gets met up with a good wall of defense. Goes where it comes up. Maniacs come through again. Getting four more points, looks like. Yeah, he gets four more points there. Yeah. 
Mania comes through again. And gets around the defense again, gets four more points. Rhodes Warrior comes back in. It's like uh, somebody from Bakersfield is going to get sent from the penalty box for blocking out of bounds. And that's the jam. Right now it's 66 to 23. 66 to 23. Like uh, RBF is going to be your jammer for uh, for the Divas. And let's see. Siggy Skill Dust. Or Skull Dust, I should say. <laughs> One day I will get this right. And Siggy is your, is your lead jammer. She gets, uh, Siggy uh, meets up with the, the defense of the uh, Divas. RBS looks like she's having trouble getting through as well. Ooh, and people hit the, bl hit the floor there. <laughs> Siggy gets through again. She gets four points. Met up with the defense again from uh, from Divas. Both teams are putting up a lot of good defense tonight. Both teams are making their jammers earn every point they get. Like Siggy picks up four more points. Regulate here comes back into the into from the penalty box. Joins in the defense. The jam is called off. Right now, the score score is uh, basically a two to one ratio here, sixty six to thirty three, in favor of Bakersfield. A lot of assassin is your is your jammer for Sacramento uh, for um, for Bakersfield, and it's like uh, Rhodes Warrior for for uh, Sacramento. Rhodes Warrior gets through the pack, and she is the lead jammer. Blonde Assassin still trying to get through. Rhodes Warrior has to recycle. Blonde Assassin comes through, coming up to the pack. Not the lead jammer, but she gets she comes through and she scores four points. We're pretty much with ease on that one. That is the jam. Right now it's 70 to 33. Favor of Bakersfield. Maybe I 
can't get that power so here's the whistle maniac is your jammer for bakersfield Maniac is your lead jammer. Rhodes Warrior comes back in. Mr. a recycle. To the back. Instantly met up with three uh, three blockers from Bakersfield. Four now. Trying for a star pass. Those who are trying to get a start past their, their pivot. She literally tossed it to her. But I guess, uh, so I understand that's not a, that's not a legal start pass. <laughs> That is the jam. That is the half right now. It is halftime. Score right now. If somebody would get out of my way, I can see it. It's uh, 81 to 33. 81 to 33. That is your halftime score right now. 81-33 in favor of Bakersfield. We had a 15-minute uh, break here, so um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, mute my mic and uh, come back in a few minutes. Okay, roughly this will be about roughly less than uh, less than four minutes to go in this half. And then we'll pick her up right where we left off. Hopefully, everybody out there is enjoying the, the stream tonight. Got a lot of good comments there today. Good to see everybody on here. I'm hoping to do more of this in the in the future. Um, if you like it, great. I'm not sure when my next live event will be. When I when I do uh, any any derby next, uh, might be around the summertime. Uh, for um, I think I have something scheduled possibly for uh, Orange County uh, Roller Derby. Um, but um, just not sure yet when that one, it's, it's supposed to be on a, it's on a weekend that I work, but I'll probably still be able to make it though. But uh, second round giving their cheer out. Just a couple minutes to go in this in this half or in this intermission. Score is 81 to 33. All right, Sun is your would be your jammer for for uh, Sacramento. And my apologies if I was saying Allison's wrong name wrong. And it looks like Maniac will be your jammer for for Bakersfield. Yeah. 
About 50 seconds to go, 5-0. Road, Rose Warriors give you your pivot for Sacramento. Oh, they did a little switcheroo here. Looks like uh, Bon Assassin will be your, your jammer for um, for Bakersfield. Ali Sun for Baker or for Sacramento. Ten seconds to go in this half. There we go. There's the jam. One assassin trying to get through. As is Ali son. Allison has to just knock his in the middle there. And uh, one assassin is your lead jam. Gets met up with the pack over there. Allison is uh, having some difficulty with the, with the pack over there. Assassin gets through. Allie. Alex right, passed off the uh, star pass to uh, to uh, Rhodes Warrior. One assassin calls off the jam. Okay, Maniac is going to be your jammer for for uh, Bakersfield. Tricky Bobby for uh, Sacramento is your jammer there. Maniac is your lead jam. Tricky Bobby comes flying around the, you know, the turn, hot on her tail. Mania calls off the jam. Payne Dulce for Sacramento is your jammer. RBF for Bakersfield. RBF and Payne Dulce on the line. There's the whistle. RPF's having difficulty trying to get through. Pindelsay's trying to work her way through the pack. Just a little bit more. RPF gets through. She is the lead gem. Ooh. That was a hard hit. Payne Dulce passes off the star uh, to uh, Rhodes Warrior. RBF and calls off the jam. It's like uh, Blonde Assassin for Bakersfield, Alley Sun for uh, Sacramento. Blonde Assassin has to recycle, as does Alley Sun. Alley Sun is your lead jammer for Bakersfield.
to go to the pack. Sasson trying to get through, through the pack there. Met up with strong defense. And looks like that's the jam. Tricky Bobby for Sacramento and uh, Warrior. Uh, um, uh, Maniac for uh, for Bakersfield. Make it. Maniac is your lead jammer. Tricky Bobby gets through the, through the back and uh, hot on the tail over there. Maniac calls off the jam. Hopefully, Ali's son is okay. Uh, did that last jam when she came out. Looks like uh, they're giving her a cold compress. She took a good hit, apparently. So, hopefully, she's okay. Derby girls are tough. Siggy Skulldust and, uh, and uh, Blonde Assassin is uh, on, on the line for both teams. Jam is on. One well, assassin trying to get get past the uh, defense. Sticky skull dust is uh, trying to work her way through uh, through the defense of, of Bakersfield. One well, assassin has to recycle. Sticky skull dust has, now has to recycle. One assassin uh, gets four, uh, is lead jammer now. Siggy gets through. And the jam's called off. Got an official timeout right now. Uh, so the score is. Too many heads in the way. 103 Bakersfield to 33 Sacramento. 103-33. It's like RBF will be your jammer for Bakersfield and uh, Payne Dulce for uh, Sacramento. All right, guys, just a public service announcement. That blue line that you see around, that's going to be your do not pass line. We want to make sure that you guys are staying clear of the lane that's outside of the track. So you've got speeders and officials coming around there at very high speeds. You do not want to be hit by any of these people. I got hit by RGF just a couple weeks ago, and I'm still recovering from that. Still in the middle of time out here. But yeah, just to keep yourself safe, stay out of that. Don't go past that blue line. 10333, in favor of the demon. Okay, five second call. Payne Dulce and uh, RBF are in the jam line. For the respective teams, RPF's met up with a lot of uh, defense already. And Dulce is working her way up. The Payne Dulce gets through, and she is the lead jammer. Working away from the pack. She gets through again. Four points for her. Four points to Sacramento for the team Dulce. Ooh, what a hit. 
RBF to, you know, hit, hit the deck there after uh, getting tripped up by one of the skaters who fell down. That's the jam there. Tricky Bobby for Sacramento will be jamming. And Maniac for uh, for uh, Bakersfield. Sacramento boosted their score up to 39 now, so it's uh, 103 to 39. Tricky Bobby gets around some of the defense. Oh, jammer, jammer. And no score on that. See, they're having a speed day. Allison back in for Sacramento. Oh, they're switching around. But Maniac is there, and Tricky Bobby's back in. So it'll be a same matchup here. It's like uh, Tricky Bobby. Oh, here we go. Jammer on Jammer again. Okay, so Allison is back in, and then uh, Blonde Assassin. Sometimes it's fun to see those uh, jams like that, when it's jammer on jammer, and uh, they kind of play with each other on the track. But it's all in good sports, so it's... Uh, Allie's son is your is your jammer, lead jammer. Comes up to the pack. Mom Sasson had a recycle. Allie's son comes back to the pack. She's got a good wall of defense coming right there. Shoves her right out of the bounds. She has to recycle. Blonde Assassin's having a difficulty time down there. Oh, Shaw still down. Oh, what a spin move. That is a jam. The score now is 103 to 44. 103 44. Payne Dolce up for, uh, for um, Sacramento. RBF for Bakersfield. Jams on. Bakersfield with, with the lead jam. RPF is your lead jammer. Payne Dose passes off the star to uh, to Rose Warrior. Jam gets called off. Right now, the score is 107 to 44. Trying to see how much more time is left in his half. Maniac is your jammer for Biggersfield, and she is the lead jam. Tricky Bobby, who's a jammer for uh, Sacramento. 
She hits the deck, trying to give, give a star pass. And she gets sent to the penalty box. Yeah. Maniac gets four more points. Goes to the defense and uh, goes pretty much with ease on that one. Four more points. And she calls off the jam. Just as the uh, second round jammer is up, uh, standing up for her in the penalty box. Tricky Bobby's got at least uh, probably in between uh, five and ten seconds left in the penalty box before she is, re is released. Okay, that's the end of the timeout. Juan Assassin is your lead, is your leader jammer for uh, for Bakersfield. Jam is on. Juan Assassin has to recycle, and Tricky Tricky Bobby is uh, is out of the penalty box. One assassin is your lead jam. Sicky <laughs> Skull Dust is going to be jamming for uh, Sacramento and RBF for Bakersfield. And there's a big change right there. They just changed that with Maniac. Maniac will be jamming against uh, Sicky Skull Dust. She gets pushed out of bounds, and uh, so uh, Maniac has to recycle, come back in. There's a juke and jive around some of the skaters. And it looks like uh, Maniac is your lead jammer. Sicky Skull Dust is trying to get a star pass going, trying to get into her pivot. Just pushed out of bounds, so she has to recycle. Maniac gets four points. Siggy so has to put the pat, you know, star card back on. And she's not, she's not, anywhere, I guess the, the pivot can't get to it. And the jam's called off. Score now is 123 to 44. 123 to 44. Looks like there's about 14 minutes left in the game. Uh, I can't see the full score, uh, full, full uh, scoreboard here. It looks like uh, just uh, less than 15 minutes to go, so in, in the 14 and a half minute range to go in this half of this game. Payne Dolce is on the is uh, jamming for big is uh, for jamming for Sacramento. It's like uh, RBF for uh, Bakersfield. Siggy so gets knocked down. She has to recycle. She recycles, and uh, RBF is uh, having difficulty getting through the front. Her, her end of the pack there, too. Like I said earlier, they, um, they, uh, both teams are making their jammers, each, each team's jammers, uh, you know, reach for every point they can get. They're making them work for it. Okay. 
So Siggy has to recycle. <laughs> Regulators trying to do a little intimidation on track. Using the foot stomp. RBF finally makes it through. Signifying signify she is lead jam. And Dulce has the star. He gets knocked out of bounds by RBF. Right into the referee. It looks like it's 129 to 44 right now. Allie's son will be jamming for Sacramento while Juan Assassin will be. Looks like it's timeout right now. Allie's son will be jamming for Bakersfield. Team timeout, timeout for, by Sacramento. After this bout here, it'll be uh, the rough cuts from Bakersfield uh, taking on South Coast. There's roughly, I want to see the coach gets out of the way. It looks like it's about 12 minutes and 14 seconds, I think, in this half. Until the end of the game. So, <clears throat> hope you're all enjoying the game out there. I thank each and every one of you for joining in and tuning in. This is something I've been trying to do for a while. I've been trying to do broadcasting a little bit and going between this and photography. So, it's a lot easier with this right here doing this. It's less equipment to, to haul. And no editing. <laughs> okay, it looks like uh, Blonde Assassin is going to be your jammer uh, for Bakersfield and Allison for Bakersfield. I mean, Sacramento. One of these days I'll get my cities right. So Allison for, uh, for Sacramento. Okay, here we go. Jam's on. It's like Allie says, uh, that one jam. Oh, she bowls over the bit. <laughs> and she is the lead jammer. Allie Sun is the lead jammer. There was no, no penalty on that one. Oops. Ooh. Somebody hit the deck hard. It's a good thing she has a helmet on. That's why they wear helmets and flat track. Don't want to risk getting any concussions. Blonde Assassin is not your lead jam, but uh, she is uh, through the pack finally. And has to recycle. Allison still uh, trying to get through the pack on this. She gets, she is getting through the pack and gets four points. Comes back up to the pack. Trying to juke and jive, getting around, trying to get around them. They're making her earn her points. Mom Assassin's having some difficulty over there too. Sacramento is making making her earn her points as well. Allie Sun gets through again. <laughs> Referee's giving her four more points. Four points to her. Excuse me. 
That bench brought to you uh, by the courtesy of uh, Alka Seltzer. It's like uh, Tricky Bobby will be jamming for Sacramento. And Maniac for Sac for for, for, ba for Bakersfield. Tricky uh, Tricky Bobby for Sacramento. Maniac for Bakersfield. Uh, official timeout. Yeah, the fish has to go over there. Make sure that the scoring is correct. Make sure the time is correct as well. It's like less. Looks like less than ten minutes to go in this half or in the game here. But it's uh one thirty three to fifty right now. One thirty three to fifty. Okay, that's the end of the, the official timeout. Tricky Bobby, Maniac for the respective teams. And Maniac comes through and charging without even hard, without even hard to get touched. She gets to the back again and calls out the jam. Both teams are putting up a really good defense, and like I said, this is my, this is my first time seeing Sacramento play, and they're they're doing one, one hell of a job out there. I tell you, Payne Dolce will be your jammer for you know, for Sacramento, Maniac for uh, for uh, Bakersfield. Jam is on. Uh, Maniac's uh, off, off the track, so there's no, no lead jammer yet. Bain Dulce, she gets around the last person, and she is the lead jam. Uh -oh. Got a little bit of an injury time out there. I'm just putting the camera away from uh, from that from the down skater. Uh, giving them their time to get to get uh, looked at by the medic. Looks like it might be right in the where the person might be uh, complaining. There might be her left their left knee. Trying to see who the skater is. Yeah, it looks like she's okay. She's back up. She'll sit out for about two, at least two, maybe three jams. Usually after a, a skater gets uh, gets uh, takes an, gets an injury or something like that, they they usually, depending on the extent of it, they usually sit out for at least three jams. And right now, it looks like there's only looks like uh, it's either six minutes and seventeen seconds or three minutes and seventeen seconds. I'm not sure which. I can't tell from here. I need better glasses. From here, so <laughs> Tricky Bobby is the jammer for Bakersfield. She is the lead jammer as uh, the as the maniac is uh, still in the penalty box. 
Penalty, you know, she is released from the jail and put in the penalty box now. Tricky Bobby is a, it's a rolling, rolling roadblock in there. She ends up on the off, uh, outside the track. Has to recycle. Maniacs trying to get you know get around the last person there. Okay, that's the jam right there. Score right now is one thirty-seven to fifty-six. One thirty-seven to fifty-six. RBF and Ali Sun are up again for the respective teams. Allison's trying to get around the defense. RBF is uh, having a lot of difficulty as well. The members of South Coast right behind me, they're, they're kind of looking, looking at the game and cheering him on as well. RBF hits the deck. No penalty on her. Yeah, she did get a penalty. I thought she did. But I'm not the referee, so. <laughs> Allison is on track still. Should be a power jam. She's the lead jammer. It's a, it's, a, it's a penalty. It's a power jam for her. Her bench is going to tell her to call it. Oof. Allison has to recycle. Four more points. Back up to the defense. That is the jam. Score now is 137 to 60. 137 to 60. Tricky Bobby is your jammer for Sacramento. And looks like uh, Blonde Assassin for Bakersfield. Uh, there's a team timeout. Sacramento calls a team timeout. Okay, so now Tricky Bobby and uh, and um, Blonde Assassin are your jammers for your respect for the respective teams. Got the five second call. An updated score. It's a uh, one thirty seven to sixty two now. 
Okay, that, that must have been what the time could have been what the team timeout was for. Tricky Bobby is your lead jammer for uh, for Sacramento. One assassin gets through. That is the jam. Payne Dulce for uh, jamming for Sacramento and uh, <clears throat> Maniac for Bakersfield. Jam is on. Maniac had to, had to recycle. And gets through, and she is lead jammer. Payne Dulce is still trying to get through. It's like she's trying to you know, do a star pass. It's like she passed it off to uh, Rhodes Warrior. Maniac uh, comes through again, scores more points. Maniac gets, Maniac gets through and she gets more points. She gets through the pack with ease on that one. Rhodes Warrior uh, gets sent to the penalty box for cut, for cut track. Maniac gets through again for more points. There's got to be at least 15 points, right? Or actually 12, or maybe 12 or 16 points at least in this jam alone. I was going to say 15 or so, but uh, or 20, but uh, they don't score the fifth point. <laughs> score now is 154 to let's see, 56, looks like. I'll take it back, 65. I'm trying to look through everybody's heads there. 154 to 65 is your score right now. Team timeout. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah, I don't have the I don't have the uh, thing in front of me, so I don't see their pronouns. So, so I'm sorry about that if I offend anybody. But the score right now is 154 to 65. Looks like there's, uh, let's see, it's like three and a half, about three and a half minutes roughly, I want to say. Roughly about three, three, three and a half minutes or so. Okay, Blonde Assassin. Jamming and uh, Rhodes Warriors coming in. She cycles in through the back. Tries to jump to the apex. Has to recycle. Time for a star pass. Well, the 
Shock it sent to the uh, penalty box. One assassin comes around the pack. She's lead jam. Rose Warrior tried to do a fix jump again, but uh, she didn't quite make it all the way. But uh, let's recycle again. That's the jam on that. Okay, that looks like the the game end of the game. Waiting for the waiting for the uh, officials to do the official score. Make sure it's official. Official. Right now, as it sits, it shows one sixty eight to sixty five in favor of Bakersfield. Both teams showing some love to each other, thanking each other. And it looks like that is the official score, 168 to 65. 168 to 65. Your victors on this one is going to be the Baker Club Diamond Divas. Give it up for them. Is it taking a big victory lap right now? This is the time when the, the fans and everybody can join in and give high fives to the teams, both teams. Bakersfield just came through, and now, now Sacramento will, will do their round. Yeah, it's here for Sacramento. They did a really good job out here. They may not have came on the winning end, but they put up one hell of a defense. So that's this game right here. Um, the next game, I don't know how how long it's going to be between the games, so it'll probably be probably within the half hour, I'd say. You know, so. It's 7.30 by my time right here. Uh, so I'm saying at least 15 to 20 minutes, I think maybe half hour. I'm not sure exactly when, when the next game is to start, but it uh, should be starting up very shortly. I'm going to put my microphone on mute for a little bit, and um, we'll be back uh, as soon as it comes up. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon.
Okay, I'm coming back now finally. Um, right now there's about eight and a half minutes or so to till they uh, start the next bout. South Coast will be coming up uh, you know, to play, to skate against uh, the rough cuts of uh, Bakersfield. Get to take a load off my feet. <laughs> okay, let me adjust my monitor here. Okay, so right now uh, the rough cuts are on track right now, warming up, going through their drills. And so it still has like, you know, like I said, right now it's you know, obviously less than about eight minutes or so to go until they start the, uh, the next bout here. I don't have the roster in front of me, so I, I won't be able to give you any names right now. Okay. <clears throat> that was Hainer asking me what size shirt I wore. Pretty much a fat, basically, <laughs> for me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, I'm a little more familiar with the. Uh, South Coast team, as uh, I've uh, photographed their teams on several occasions down there at Laguna Hills. Of course, there are some some newer players there that I have, I have not seen before. Right now, right now the rough cuts are on track. You know, warming up and doing their stuff, you know, the warm-ups and their uh, drills. Let's look at the some of the people from uh, South Coast. I think Big Papa was telling me that uh, I think it was uh, Thrashley Olson. I think it is is the captain. I think her name is uh, number fourteen seventeen. I think it is. Uh, she is the captain of the team. Four fifty-five to go in the, in the, until until the uh, start of the next game. I'll go ahead and put the put my my commute for for that time. So I'll be back in a couple minutes.
Okay, so roughly about a minute and a half now to go before the start of the next game. And the big papa gives out the thing. I'll, I'll keep quiet so he can give you the introductions because uh, I don't have the I, I don't have the people in front of me. So, <clears throat> thank you to all of you who have been sticking around there for the last uh, two hours and forty two minutes at the showing on my uh, clock here on the uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much for joining me, and hope you're enjoying the the broadcast tonight wherever you may be. Twenty seconds. Katie Olson, Thrashley Olson, right there in the picture. Right there. Thrashley is the is the captain in fourteen seventeen. Big Pop is giving the <laughs> little bit of a safety instruction, I guess, because uh, we have these blue blue lines here on the outside, which serve as the as the uh, referee's uh, ten foot marker, I guess, the uh, boundary, and also also the crash zone. So we don't want we don't want people to get hurt by by crossing over when they're coming around. So. Okay, it looks like, uh, it looks like AJ for the rough cuts. Number, number 33 there. Actually, number 333 is the number. And then Baby Slice for uh, South Coast. <clears throat> we'll be jamming for, for them. <clears throat> Should be a good, evenly matched game, I'd say. Like I said, there's some new skaters from uh, from South Coast I have not seen before. Um, there's some, some some familiar faces I've seen before. Next week, I'll be over in Oceanside pho uh, photographing for uh, South Coast, and not South Coast, um, North County Derby Alliance. <clears throat> I'll be out there next week. I believe there's a, a I think it's a six o'clock game, so I should be able to out, get out there no problem. Even though I work that weekend, but uh, <clears throat> I'll be out there photographing their game. I think they host uh, Prison City, I believe. 
So I'll be photographing out there. Okay, looks like we're about ready to get this thing underway here now. And they got the five second call. And there's the whistle. It's like AJ was like got, got called for a cut already. There's AJ right there, I should say. <clears throat> AJ is your lead jammer for Bakersfield. Baby Slice. <clears throat> Back on track. AJ is having difficulty getting through the defense over there. Baby Slice uh, has to recycle. Actually, he gets sent back to the pit for the penalty box for cut track. It's like number 666 of Hale Skaten is uh, going to be jamming for Bakersfield. And it's going to be a power start because uh, the jammer for South Coast is in the penalty box. Baby Slice. Back to number 666. I've seen Skaten here. Uh, she, uh, she's a good jammer. Wired little kid. Oof. She gets through the back and she is lead jammer. Jumps the apex. The baby slice is uh, standing in the in the, uh, getting ready to come out back on the track. And she is released. And they call off the jam. Here's your lead jammer right here. South Coast Jammer's having difficulty getting through there. And the Bakersfield uh, Jammer gets uh, sent to the penalty box. South Coast Jammer. Knocked to the infield. She has to recycle. South Coast and Emory got get, uh, get some points coming up.
Pass and recycle. Jammer for uh, for you know, Biggersville back in. She gets four points. <clears throat> Oof. Missed the jam. AJ for um, Bakersfield, your, your jammer here. <clears throat> The jammer for Bakersfield has to be put back into the penalty box. I didn't hear what she, what, she, uh, what the penalty was for. <clears throat> AJ comes up through, through the front of the pack. Trying to get her way through there. She was using every bit of her toast to try to keep her from getting around her. <laughs> Jammer for South Coast is back on track. Has made her earn those points. <laughs> Southwood's jammer gets through. That's the jam. Red Hot Willie Chill, uh, Red Hot Chili Wheelchair, and Hale Skating to the jam line. <clears throat> Hale skating for Bakersfield, red hot uh, chili, uh, red, red red hot chili wheelchair for um, South Coast. <laughs> Hale skating gets through, and she is your lead jammer. Back to the pack. Red Hot Chili Wheelchair is uh, having difficulty getting through. Trying for a star pass. Skating comes through again. Katie Olson for South Coast has the, the jammer star on. And the jam is called off. Baby slice up for uh, for South Coast. Number 88 for Bakersfield. Baby slice gets the lead jam. Eighty-eight has to re recycle. Mm 
So they both have to recycle. Eighty-eight has to get sent. Who's getting sent to the? Somebody's getting sent. Well, actually, uh, um, Baby Slice got sent to the penalty box for cut track. Number eighty-eight keeps on going. Tries to get through the defense, and she does. Scoring four points. But she is not the lead jammer, so she cannot call the jam off anyway. I think she's trying to do some bowling there. We like to try and go for the 7 10 split there. <clears throat> Davis Slice is standing in the panel uh, in, the, in there and is released from the penalty box. Cycles to the back of the pack. Looks like that's the end of the jam. Right now, the score is 36 to 6 in favor of Bakersfield. 36 to 6. And there's a timeout. So there must be some kind of a review or <clears throat> something there that they're. No, it's like it's an, it's an official review. Obviously, an issue that they feel they're you know, you know, they need to address and try and challenge it. Now the referees will go over here and they'll talk amongst themselves. And then they'll come back uh, with a with a um, with an answer for uh, for them. Okay, so right now, score is 40 to 6. Looks like about 20 some odd minutes to go. It's like 23, possibly. Eighteen minutes and twenty-three seconds. <laughs> Picture of Jordan right there. So eighteen minutes to go in this in this first half. The referees are going over the answer. Not sure who won it, who lost it.
Okay. So the score is 40 to 8. All right, we've got AJ hitting on Bush Basti. AJ for Bing for Bakersfield. And I, I didn't hear I didn't hear the name of the other jammer. Can't read her jersey. South Coast Jammer is the lead jammer. Four more points to South Coast. Four more points. Oh, what a hit. Jammer gets in. South Coast Jammer gets called for a cut track, and she's in the penalty box. AJ still having a little difficulty getting past the, the, the these two jammers here, or two uh, these two blockers. Jammer standing in the penalty box, gets released, comes to the back of the pack over here, and the jam is called off. That was a good uh, jam for uh, for South Coast. They scored a few points there. Their score is now forty to eighteen. Bakersfield has uh, hail skating up there for uh, to jam, and I don't know which one number to forty four is. I don't see her name on the back of her jersey. It looks like a red hot chili uh, chili wheelchair. Skating and takes a knee down there. Red Hot uh, has to recycle. Hail Skating, uh, she uh, gets through. Knee Jammer. Skating backwards through the pack. She's got four more, four points right there. Jumps the apex. Gets the points. Four more points. We have a star pass here to Thrashley Olson, the captain. And that's the jam. Looks like the score is 48 to 19 now. 48 to 19. Baby Slice up for South Coast and not sure who number 88 is. Get the five second call. Jam is on. It's like number 88 is your, is your lead jammer. It's 
scores four points for, for their for her team. Baby Slice gets caught. Jam has been called, but it's like the looks like they may have, they may have uh, called a jam, uh, penalty on the uh, on Baby Slice. So they will be on a disadvantage when uh, they start this jam. AJ for you know, Bakersfield will have a power uh, power start. Takes a hard hit. She's having difficulty getting through that through that pack right there. AJ has to recycle. It's like uh, Baby Slice is back on track and she's uh, got through the pack. Scores four points for South Coast. Maybe nice has to recycle. Maybe nice having difficulty getting past those jammers or those blockers there. AJ's having difficulty getting past the, the, the opposing blockers as well. A lot of good defenses on both teams tonight. You know, in the previous game and this game. Baby Styles gets through and uh, scores four points. And the jam as well is off. Hale skating for Bakersfield. Looks like an official timeout coming up. Timeout right now for the official timeout. Looks like the score is uh, 55 to 27 in favor of Bakersfield. Somebody's got some support out here. <laughs> and that's always fun to hear and fun to see. Yeah, so 55 to 27 in favor of Bakersfield right now. That's the end of the official timeout. So Hale Skaten is up for Bakersfield. And Butch Cassidy for, for uh, South Coast. At least that's what it shows on the back of her jersey. Skate gets sent to the penalty box for cutting track. So it'll be a power play, uh, power, power jam for uh, for South Coast. 
Because of the defense, she gets around one. Gets past another one. Three. So he's got four more points. Well, they escape him, and uh, well, it looks like Blond uh, Assassin have been brought back into the game. Dale Skate gets past to the defense. She's not lead jammer. But that's the jam right there. Red Hot Wheelchair for South Coast and uh, it's like AJ, possibly. No, I mean, it's not AJ. <laughs> Number 88, I'm not sure what her name is. Can't read her name from here. <laughs> Oof. Radiate has to <clears throat> kind of a little difficult to get past the thing. Red Hot is not your real lead jammer, but uh, that's the jammer right there. Get, get called off. Okay, Baby Slice and AJ are up. AJ for Bakersfield and Baby Slice for South Coast. There's the five second call. Baby Slice can try and get through the defense here. She gets around three of them. And she is the jam. Comes back up to the pack. AJ finally gets around her last defense. Not lead jammer, but uh that's the jam. Like Butch Cassidy for South Coast and Hale Skaten for Bakersfield. My thanks to everybody for tuning in tonight and hope you're enjoying the, the broadcast tonight. Like Hale Skating is your lead jammer. Come back up to the back here. Bush Cassidy had to recycle. Skating gets four more points. Thank you, Naomi. Slam and Shay. Okay, thank you. And that is the jam. Right now the score is 63 to 36.
Take it back. 66 to 36. In favor of Bakersfield. It's like a little it looks like an official review. The head referee is looking and listening to their to their challenge to review. Now the referees are going to go debate it. Let's see what they, let's see what happens out of that. Still got a decent crowd here tonight. Not many of them have left uh, since the first game. Referees are still talking. It looks like the thing's over. Not sure what came out of it. Sometimes the referees will come over and tell the announcer what's going on, but they haven't done that yet. So, okay, so it looks like Red Hot wheelchair, wheelchair and slamming uh, shades up. And Shea gets through. Lead jammer. 
Move to the pack there. Red Hot uh, has a recycle. Stays in bounds. So you trying for a try, try for a star pass possibly. Oof. Shay's back in on as being sent to the penalty box. Picking up four points right there. Comes up to the defense. Red Hot uh, gets dumped to the floor. That, that jam and that blocker had to let her go because the uh, past the 20 foot line. Red Hot comes back into the pack. Shea gets past that defense again. Four more points for, for Bakersfield. Red Hot has to recycle. That's the jam. Another review. Looks like this review might be uh, challenging to be from uh, <clears throat> on, on the end of Bakersfield. Four, eight, six. You got yourself a hello kitty basket. Oh my gosh, is there a chicken dinner? <laughs> right. Trying to look at the score here. Looks like it's 74 to 36 right now. Alright, next one's gonna be the crochet dog basket, so get your yellow tickets out. All right, next one, that's a crochet dog basket. It's a handmade dog bed, blanket and sweater. Yellow ticket, one, one, two, eight, eight, seven. Yellow ticket, one, one, two, eight, eight, seven. That's your number, I expect to be yellow <laughs> longer than this one. So one, one, eight, seven. So the referees are out there uh, looking out, uh, looking out there bring their decision. Oh, challenge. That was a quick uh, answer, was there? So I don't know who, I don't know who or what the result was. Don't know what they were challenging. So we got yellow ticket. Yellow ticket one one two eight eight seven. And then the right ticket, 74. Uh, 74, 8, 4, 4, 2. Practice supply, start. It's like baby, spli uh, baby, baby slice for, um, for South Coast. Slay, uh, you know, Slam and Shea is in the penalty box there. Baby Slice gets past the pack. And it's the jammer. Slam Mache is standing in the in, 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 get ready to come back on track. She's been released. Oh, 
Like Simon Shea gets sent to the penalty box again. And they call the jam off. And the jam on that one. All right, let's take this tractor supply gift card along with the solar pressure mic. Red ticket 748665. 748665. That's there. Slam is still in the penalty box. Uh, line basket. It's like uh, <clears throat> Chastity's uh, jammer for South Coast. Slamming uh, Simon Shea is uh, the lead jammer. She actually came right out of the penalty box. Couple of people hit the floor. Slam machine is getting held up there, and so you know, Rich Gaskin come around the corner. Come through here, and jam's called off. Let's see, that's the halftime right now. Halftime is 74 to 44 in favor of Bakersfield. 77 to 44. I'm going to put my microphone on mute for a bit, and uh, we'll come back and we'll, in, as soon as uh, we get close to going back to uh, finishing, the, uh, finishing the game. So I'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, just under three minutes to go in in halftime. We should be uh, yeah getting ready to start it up and finish this game off. Not a heck of a whole lot going on right now. It's just mostly the referee standing around talking, the skaters uh, talking. Right now, currently, the score, the score is still 78 to 44 in favor of Bakersfield. Uh, both teams have been putting up a hell of a good defense out there tonight. Uh, they've been uh, doing uh, a phenomenal job out there, both teams. Even in the previous game, they both teams were just solid walls. You know, they, you know, they were making each and every one of them earn their points. This game right here is not so much of a runaway as it was the other one. The other one was not totally a runaway, but it was they, they were just scoring almost at will. I'm not taking anything away from Sacramento. They, they did a good job out there, too. But. Yeah. 
So far, I've been on the air for about uh, almost three hours and forty uh, three hours and forty minutes. <laughs> I started the broadcast about five fifteen, um, probably about twenty minutes before the actual start of the first game. Even though it was supposed to be scheduled for about five thirty, but uh, so I've been standing here and talking. <laughs> uh, you can probably hear my voice; it's probably getting a little more hoarse as, as I go along. So we're going to the final seconds of halftime. It's hard to tell there's too many people in front of the scoreboard, so I can't really see it too well. <laughs> That's the call to get back on track. The final 30 minutes. Like I said, the Rough Guts, uh, they have the lead at 78, and uh, and South Coast has, 70, has, has 44. It's been a good game, good strong game. Both teams are putting up a lot of defense. Each team is making their, the, the opposing jammers uh, earn their points. Like Butch Cassidy for you know South Coast to be uh, um, jamming, and um, AJ for Bakersfield. There's a whistle. Jam is on. AJ pushes to that front wall. Here comes Butch Cassidy. Butch Cassidy gets the, his lead jammer. <laughs> AJ just got through from uh, there. They had to be careful that neither one of them got called for a penalty and the way she was being blocked. They called the jam off. Whether AJ scored any points or not, I don't know. I think she did. The score is now 81 to, looks like, 47. Red Hot Wheelchair and Hale Skating. Skating for uh, Bakersfield. Red Hot for uh, South, South Coast. Red Hot trying to you know, run through it. Looks like Hale Skating is your gently jammer. There's your jammer right there. Red Hot is right behind her. Skate gets through and calls jam. It's like Thrashley Olson jamming for. For South Coast and Slane Slay Shea. Thank you, Naomi. Appreciate that. Slam and Shea gets through up to the front of the back. Ashley Olsen gets through. Ashley scoring four points. Jam is being called off.
Butch Cassidy up on the line for the South Coast. Butch Cassidy inside and AJ for Bakersfield. Scores 81 to 47. And it looks like there's an official timeout. So it's an official time. It looks like they're uh, going over the score. Either the scoring or the time. AJ has to go back to the front and back to here to the jam line. Long Butch Cassidy. Well, we sort the miss out over there uh, for the official review, or not the official review, but the, the official timeout. That whistle end up the end of the official timeout. AJ comes to the front of the pack, tries to get through. Cassidy's trying to get through. She gets around one defender, taking a hit, just knocked her knees. AJ is your lead jammer. Bush Cassidy gets through. Not, not the lead jammer, but getting made her admission to pass. That calls off the jam. Hey, skating and Baby Slice are up on the jam lines. Skating at a recycle. Skating has to go to the penalty box for cutting track. This will be a power jam right here. Bonnie says we just going to send the penalty box for illegal contact. Skating's back on track. Try to do the jumping, jumping the apex, but she has to recycle. She has to recycle again. Baby slice uh, coming around. The jam. And that's the jam. Time shades up. 
Red Hot. Chili Red Hot Chili Wrecker. Scores 82 to 48 right now. Shay's your, your lead jammer. They attempted a penny, penny star pass, I believe. And she got called for a penalty. Oh, pulls out the jam. She got up a little slowly, but uh, it's gonna be a power some power start for uh, for Bakersfield. It's like AJ's on the jam line. Scores eighty six to forty eight right now. Which Cassidy, I think it is. And AJ. AJ's having difficulty trying to get past the, the defense here. Which Cassidy is just barely made it through. Which Cassidy comes up to the to the back of the pack. She's met with some defense. And they both called, they called, they called, they called the jams called off. Scores 89 to 50 right now. 89-50. Baby Slice is jamming for South Coast. AJ's in the penalty box, but she's standing up. So she has uh, 10 seconds or less to get out until they, until they release her. She has been released. Baby Slice uh, gets passed and Lee Jammer. Here's AJ comes in on, on her initial and comes up to the back of the pack. And gets past the defense there. She gets four points. And they call off the jam. Call off the jam. Red Hot Chili Wrecker on the line. Red 
Jammers trying to get through the pack there and having diffi- very much difficulty there. The like Red Hot still trying to get through the pack up there in the front. Lee Jammer for Bakersfield. It's like, rain- it's like Rainbow Pool, I think it is. Try to read her name when she came by. So I think I think it said Rainbow Pool on there. Red Hot wheelchair, uh, uh, Red Hot uh, Chili Wrecker. Uh, she's uh, having difficulty back there. Yeah. So, it's like you know, she got uh, off track there a little bit, and she was crawling. So hopefully, she's okay. Score right now is, 50, is uh, 97 to 52. 97 to 52. Looks like it's about 17 minutes, I want to say. AG's on the line. Bush Cassidy is the lead jammer for South Coast. Bush Cassidy has a recycle. AJ's coming back to the back. And Jam's called off. She calls it off before Rainbow Boo can, uh, actually, before AJ can score any points. Hale Skaten and uh, looks like uh, Thrashley Olson. Skating trying to get through. Hard to get through and hard to squeeze through that through that defense. Thrashley's uh, getting having difficulty getting through up there too. Getting bounced around a little bit. She's got two people left to go through. They had to let her go through because it's a uh, twenty foot. Ashley is your uh, lead jammer. Skating right behind her. It's like a speed skating competition here. <laughs> Skating's coming right hot on it right now. Ooh. Thrashley gets four more points. Skating's still trying to get through. Looks like she's trying to play a little defense now.
took off the star. And that's the end of the jam. Score right now is 103 to 65, looks like. Red hot. AJ looks like. Nope. Take it back. Not in the hot. Slam and Shea. Slam and Shea and Red Hot are the jammers. Slam and Shea gets through. She is the jammer. Comes up to the pack. Slam and Shea has, has to recycle. Red Hot you know, trying to get through still. Just to put some good defense on Slam and Shea and she calls off the jam. It's like no score on that. Like baby Slice is up here, and then AJ. Baby Slice for South Coast, and AJ for Bakersfield. That's going to be picking up number 21, Baby Slice for South Coast. Baby Slice for the wrong outside. Somebody hit the deck already. <laughs> Up by the baby slice has the recycle. AJ coming through the pack. AJ has a lot of. I mean, uh, baby slice has a lot of defense there. You know, about four, you know, three or four. Blockers. AJ has uh, three blockers holding her back. Her, difficult for her to get through. It's like AJ has to recycle. Skatey Rolson, uh, she uh, push it back, uh, making it, make it come back. Puts a little block on her now. Pushes her out of bounds, forcing her to recycle again. Like I said, these you know, both these uh, teams are you know, put up a lot of strong defense and. They're making all these jammers you know, earn their points. AJ calls off the jam. Not sure if they if there's any score point scored there. Looks like the score is uh, still at 107 to 65. It's like Baby Kong. Baby Kong for Bakersfield and uh, Butch Cassidy for South Coast. Like Baby Kong is your lead jammer. Correction. 
Roll call on the South Coast. You can see how spent she is. And the uh, Kong calls it off. You can see how <clears throat> how tired these people are when they come through these jams. As uh, when they come you know, skating past you and they're huffing and puffing. So that means these guys are giving a big old workout. Slam Shea is up on the line now, along with Rashley Rolson. Looks like there's about seven minutes. It looks like to go in, the, in this uh, in this game. Trashy Rolson is your uh, lead jammer. Goes up to the pack. Slam Shea gets through. Slam Shea coming through for that. Having a little fun with each other there. <laughs> Thrasher gets around the defense with ease. There. Simon Shea. Still trying to get past uh, the defense there. Gets the deck there. Thrasher Rolson comes around again. She had to recycle a little bit because she stepped out of bounds. And that is the jam. The score right now is 111 to 79. Correction, 115 to 79 in favor of Bakersfield. Red Hot and Baby Kong. Red Hot for South Coast and Baby Kong for Bakersfield. Those are your two jammers on the line right now. Looks like there's uh, less than five minutes to go. Kong is your lead jammer. Red comes around and goes up to the pack. Kong is uh, getting around. She hits the deck. Red Hot gets around. She gets four points. Kong calls it off. Okay, let's see. It's 80, let's see, 115 to 87, looks like. AJ. And uh, Butch Cassidy are up.
The final minutes are coming, counting down to this game. AJ coming around. She's lead jammer. Scores four points. Butch Cassidy trying to get around the defense. Looks like AJ is being sent to the penalty box. Which means that the room in this jam will go the full two minutes. Which guess they had a recycle. He slipped into the infield. AJ back on track. That's the jam. That is the jam. Right now, let's see. The score is one. 131 to 87. 131 to 87 is the score right now. With uh, probably about a minute and a half or so to go. This could be possibly the final jam. Oh, she got upended. Rashi Olson is lead jammer. Rashi moves around again. Jammer for Bakersfield comes through. Rashad Wilson gets good again. He sends to the penalty box. Closing down the final seconds of the of the official time, but not the jam time. I think that is the jam. And it looks like it could be the game. All right, give it up for these. Let's see. Unofficially, it's 149 to 96. That's unofficial so far. Now 
it's pretty much going to be the, the official score, I believe, 149 to... to right, come on, the top side. 149 to 96. Official 149 to 96. Okay, and uh, with that, I'm gonna end this four hour broadcast. I thank each and every one of you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the uh, stream here. Uh, feel free to share it uh, with everybody once, uh, once everything's finished. And uh, we'll see you in the next time. I, I, I don't know when I'm going to do my next live show, but uh, but we'll uh, see you then. Until then, you have a great night. Stay safe wherever you are. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.